So if we want to factor x squared plus bx plus c, really that's the opposite of multiplying. So let's first look, well what if we had to multiply binomials and I had x plus 3 times x plus 8. If I went and multiplied those, and you could use FOIL, you could draw a box like I'm going to do here, what I get is x squared, 3x, 8x, 24, so x squared plus 11x plus 24. So I start with two binomials, I get to that trinomial. Let's look at factoring, which is going to be the opposite of that. So now x squared plus 11x plus 24, we want to break it apart. If we look at what we started with and what we got to over here, I had 3 and 8. Now the 3 and 8 led me to a 24 and 11. The significance of the 24 is that is 3 times 8. The significance to the 11, if I look at the 3 and 8, that is 3 plus 8. So really we could work backwards from a trinomial to figure out what its factors are by looking at the second term being the sum and the product being the last term. So up here, if we said, well, 24 is 8 times 3, and 8 times 3, 8 plus 3 is 11, we know what we're doing. But the trick is that's not the only option. 24 is also 1 and 24, 2 and 12, uh, 4 and 6, other options we have, but it's important that we say, hey, that's when we want to choose, so we'll do x plus 3, x plus 8. Now, if we kept going, we looked at something like x squared plus 12x plus 20. I'm thinking, all right, factors of 20. 20, I got 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. Now, I'm looking for the one that adds to be 12. Well, 2 plus 10 is 12, so we could go x squared plus, let's well, go x plus 2, x plus 10 as our factors, product of 20, sum of 12, we're good. What if we did x squared plus 15x plus 56? 56 factors we're looking for, so hopefully the first one that comes to mind is 8 and 7. 8 and 7 happen to add to 15, x plus 8, x plus 7. There's our factors. Now those were pretty straightforward because they always came out to be a positive. What if we had to take into account um, some negative values? So x squared minus 6x plus 8. If I have a positive product and a negative sum, that means they're both negative. Because the only way I can add to a negative but multiply to be a positive two negatives. So when I think of my factors of 8, like 1 and 8 and 2 and 4, they're both going to be negative in this case. Now the ones that add up to 6, negative 2, negative 4, so we'd say x minus 2, x minus 4. If we looked at x squared minus 7x plus 10, same thing again. They're both add to a negative, multiply to a positive, so they both have to be negative. The ways I can get 10 other than 1 and 10 is 2 and 5. If they're both negative, that adds to negative 7, x minus 2, x minus 5. Now we could move and have negatives in different places. What if we went x squared plus 9x minus 36? How can I get a negative 36 but to multiply but add to 9? Well, the only way you can multiply to get a negative is to have one positive, one negative. But the important part is which one is positive, which one is negative. So for 36, our factors are 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6. We need to find where one's positive, one's negative, and we get a 9. So what this really means is we're looking for one that has a difference of 9. Well, 3 and 12 are 9 apart. So when I come over here, I want to have them 9 apart. If one's positive, one negative, that will happen. But how is it going to make it to a positive 9? That means I need to make it x plus 12, x minus 3. Multiply to negative 36, but since the 12 is positive and the 3 is negative, it results in a positive 9. Do that quick double check. Let's look at 
x squared minus 4x minus 24. They multiply to be a negative, so one's negative, one's positive, and I have a negative 4. So what factors do I have of 24 that have a difference of 4? Well, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, I got a difference of 23, difference of 10, 5, 2, none of them are going to work, so we're going to write no factors for now. Okay, let's go look at x squared minus 2x minus 48. I have a negative product, so one positive, one negative. If a negative 2 is the sum, that means the negative needs to be bigger. For 48, we could go 1 and 48, 2 and 24. We could do 6 times 8. That's a common one we think of. Oh, 6 times 8. There's a difference of 2. Now we've got to be careful. Which one is negative? We want the 8 to be negative, the 6 to be positive. We have a difference of negative 2 product of negative 48. Last one, if we did x squared minus 7x minus 8, we have a positive and a negative because we have a negative product. Negative 7 means this value needs to be bigger. Our factors of 8, we go 1 and 8, 2 and 4. Well, 1 and 8 have a difference of 7, so I'm going to do x minus 8, x plus 1.